Yeah, okay, we've covered furries, but isn't there something called cottage core? <gasps> Yes. Is it, so that's like, um, it's not 50s suburban housewife necessarily, but close. Kinda. It's more, it's more homesteady. It's a lot about like being able to live off the land and like, uh, sort of cozy way. So if there, yeah. if there's that core, there's gotta be Victorian era, uh, lady core, well, right? Well, yes, there is. Is there? <laughs> As a matter of fact. Does yeah. it have a name? Do you know? Uh, you know what? I don't know vintage core maybe or yeah I, uh, antique core. I'd have to look into that. But there is a gal who shows up on my Facebook Reels feed who's like always dressed in like eighteen twenties apparel. I saw because uh, apparently watch me get dressed is a thing now yeah. in videos, uh, and I always skip past them. But one that I saw was this woman getting into, and it starts with you know the under things already on, of course, right. Um, but the under things, listen, I'm already <laughs> using 1880s terminology, right? but yeah, she like shows what, you know, women, mm -hmm. ladies in the 1880s had to go through. Right. There's right. like five layers there with the, the corset. Yeah, you start and with the, the chemise. The bustle. And the a chemise. It's a chemise. Chamois. Yeah. Chamois. <laughs> you start with the chemise. <laughs> I don't then know. you've got the corset. Then you've got the hoop skirt. Then you've got the under layer. Then you've got the overskirt. Then you've got the overcoat. I just want to know, how do you pee? You know, uh, <laughs> I think that when I see women dressed like that, and when I see Spider-Man at right. um, at Disney's California Adventure, <laughs> I think, oh, man, they need help to <laughs> right. do that. Maybe that's why they have the handmaidens. You know, I will say, the hoop skirts actually do make that a little easier. Okay. Because then you can sort of like just grab the hoop and you've sort of got control over the entire hem. Okay. Which is nice. Bring it up around your neck so you're choking. <laughs> I mean, not necessarily <laughs> that. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to tell you a really intimate secret. Okay. Okay, so uh, I worked in the bridal industry for quite a while, mm -hmm. and at more than one event, I ended up wearing a very big, very poofy formal dress that was difficult to get in and out of. There was no getting out of it once you were in it until the end of the night. So if you had to go potty, you had to find really um, creative ways to do so. And my best friend <laughs> worked with me there, and she found the perfect way. Okay. Do you want to know what you do? What? You lift up the front. This is information I will never use, but maybe someone will. <laughs> all right. Well, all of our lady listeners will at some point, at least on their wedding day. You lift up the front? You lift up the front. Then you straddle the toilet backwards. Oh, okay. So you're facing the tank because that way you don't have to worry about accidentally dipping because you're like that way you have... All of the front in one arm, mm -hmm. leaving the other to take care of other things, uh -huh. you know? To grab the, the the square to spare. Exactly. And then <laughs> the back can just lay as it needs to, because mm -hmm. it's not touching the toilet. Oh, man, that's funny. Right. Because <laughs> you, you just kind of perch right on the edge. Women go through so much. Oh, they look pretty. The and no one appreciates fashion. it. Yeah. No one appreciates it. <laughs> I mean, I do have to laugh. I, I think everybody's seen the, is it Kathy? I remember like a Kathy-esque two-panel comic where she's standing in front of the mirror in her romper saying, oh my goodness, I love my romper. Don't I look cute today? Uh -huh. And then the next frame, she's in the stall. <laughs> and just right. it's just a sort of humiliating <laughs> position because you got to yeah. take it all off and it's down around your ankles. Yeah, rompers are not fun. So every time I see a woman in a romper, I think, oh, I'm sorry. Because I look, man, I hydrate so much that I'm going every hour mm -hmm. on the hour. Oh, yeah. Same with jumpsuits, too. <laughs> and don't get me or wrong. What, am, I using, am I trying to say, oh, yeah. No, they're the romper same thing. Romper is like a short and a tank. Exactly. One piece. And then yeah. a jumpsuit is full body, one piece. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, like what I wore as Batgirl, that's a jumpsuit. Yeah. How did you pee? Uh, I had to take the whole thing <laughs> off. Yeah, I just made sure that I went before I left the house. I don't need bladder of solid steel. I think. <laughs>